Welcome back to Tom's Kitchen and today we're going to cook goat. Now this is uh, the big daddy, it's the big, it's the big oven that we're going to work on and what I'm going to do, I'm going to split the fire to the both sides and then put in the tray. I'm just splitting the fire to both sides. I've just got this big tray here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide it straight in and I'm going to put a couple of bottles of wine in this so that will keep the goat nice and moist. Beautiful. Now here I've got my 10 kilo goat. It's a beautiful young goat and what I've done here, this is the, uh, the double story that we've got. Uh, you can't do this in any other pizza oven. Uh, what I've done, I've just laid down tin foil and I'm going to drift the tin foil over the top of the goat and I'm going to create like a steam effect, creating a bag which will give it that steaming type of effect and it will also protect it from getting burnt. What I'll do is after a couple of hours I will take the tin foil off and uh, then I will brown it up. I've marinated the goat in uh, olive oil, rosemary, and a little bit of parsley. So I've left it all loose, everything is loose. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to lift it and put it straight into the oven. And there we have it. I'm going to leave it in there for about two hours. Then I will take it out, I'll take the tin foil off, and then I will put it back in, possibly for one more hour. I'm just going to close up all the doors. And this is what's so wonderful about this, uh, this oven. So it's all closed up, and as I said, I'll leave it for about three hours and then I'll take the tin foil off and it'll be absolutely now, fantastic. While we're waiting on the goat to cook, uh, a lot of people ask me questions like, what's so different about your ovens? Well, the reality is there's a lot of difference. Ours is a clay brick oven and all the other ovens or 90% of the other ovens on the market are made from concrete, we're factory concrete and that is okay but the reality is with the clay brick you can bake beautiful bread. Now, you cannot bake bread in the same manner in the concrete ovens. And what happens with the concrete ovens is, the heat keeps going up and down. Because you have to keep putting in little bits of wood. So you've got the heat going down, and then you have the heat going up. So you have this up and downward heat, which you haven't got this in the We're looking at here, this is what I call the Big Daddy. This is our commercial oven. And what makes this oven so unique is, I just opened the doors, it's got a rack in it, where I'm actually cooking on it at the moment. I've got a baby goat cooking and uh, you can see the doors all open up and there's the rack there's the rack there and there's the goat sitting inside so that's cooking away so I'm just closing up the doors and let that cook away while we can talk away What makes this oven so unique is that you can cook 10 times more food in this one than you can in, the, in any other oven. Because uh, I've had it go in for about two hours and I'm just going to have a quick look at it. It's coming along nicely and what I'm going to do, I'm going to add uh, a couple of bottles of wine. To the, this is the tray that I have got down here, and uh, this is just white wine.
the wine will just flavor a little bit with a tinge of alcoholic taste on it. That's three bottles I've added to it. Now, I'm not that happy drinking that wine, because if it was good drinking wine, I'd be drinking it. Now close the back up again. And there it goes. So I'll leave it now for about another hour. Probably four hours in total to cook the, the complete goat. Welcome back. And the goat has now been cooking for four hours and I'm going to take it out. Let's open it up. Oh, that looks beautiful. Take it all out. You can see it there. It's just beautifully browned up. You gotta be careful here because it's pretty hot. And I'm gonna bring it straight over for serving. Oh now look at that, that is absolutely, that is cool. I'm, going to do, I'm just going to take the goat, put it into the dish and get it ready for carving. But what I want to show you is, that's just cooked to perfection. It's a lovely crispy uh, uh, texture on it. And how you get that is this tin foil. The tin foil is so important because what happens is it gives it a kind of a steaming effect when it's, when it's cooking it. And it cooks twice as fast. Like, I've cooked that for four hours and you probably get away with three and a half hours. But it's the texture of the meat and the meat is so tender, it is just beautiful. Okay, Tommy, you've proven that you can cook an absolutely beautiful piece of meat on this woody. What else can you cook on this woody? Oh, Kim, that's a very important question you've just asked me. You can literally cook anything on this woody. From steaks to fish, chicken wings, sausages. Literally anything that you can think of, you can cook on this woody. Now what makes the woody so different to anything that's on the market is when you put your uh, tray here in the bottom, you can fill it up with water or you can put garlic in it. You can, you can actually flavor it in whatever way you like. And then you've also got the tray on the top that you can pull out and you can carve off a little bit of meat at a time if it's, as you're cooking it and then push it straight back in. So it's so versatile as woody, you can literally cook anything on it. 